I wanted to provide a tutorial video for some of the potentially tricky parts of the ear flap cap. So I have gotten to the part in the pattern where I'm ready for the front flap pickup. You can see this is, this is the edge that I will be picking up along, and this is the right side, okay? You will notice that we want to be picking up on the wrong side, so I'm going to show you how we do that. We want to pick up for the adult size, we're picking up 14. So I'm going to be picking up two extra stitches here and two extra stitches here. And I'm going to pick up from the wrong side by just flipping it over like this. And I'm just going to come in here like that. So my needle is coming from the wrong side to the right side. And I just pick up and knit like normal. Again right like that. I'm using a spare needle and a new ball of yarn. So it's looking like this. This is again the right side. And I'm just going to continue all the way to the end, and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, I have my stitches picked up, and it looks like this. So you have your main portion of the hat on the needles, and we're not worrying about that. And now we have our flap stitches picked up. Okay, so it looks like this. A little tricky to see in the fur yarn. But then to do my first right side row of the flap, I'm just turning it like this and I'm going to work that first row. So now we're just working back and forth, back and forth on the front flap, doing the increases, the main knitting rows, and then the decreases. And so it will just be hanging out like this. And once we finish all of those instructions, I We'll show you what to do next. Okay, I've worked my front flap instructions. It looks like this, just kind of hanging out. And now I'm going to work the first line of that next set of instructions, which is to knit to either four or five stitches before my beginning of round marker on the main portion of the hat. Okay, so we're going back here and these are just gonna hang out while we work that, and then I will show you what we do next. All right, it is time to connect the front flap to the top portion of the hat. And we do that by just taking the front flap and folding it up like that. Okay, so this is the right side of the hat, obviously, with our front flap folded up like this. And then take your third needle like this, and we're going to work a three needle bind off minus the bind off. So we're just gonna connect these two rows of stitches. So I go through the first stitch on the first needle and the first stitch on the back needle. and off. Same thing with this, one stitch from the front needle and one stitch from the back needle and knit them together. It is very tricky to see in this fur yarn, but just take your time. So we're working until all of the front flap stitches are connected. Okay, the front flap is connected and now comes the very fun final step. So we are going to turn our work because from now on we are just going to be working these front flap stitches and slowly connecting them row by row to the sides, and then we will end with a three needle bind off. So I turn my work, 
I'm working on the wrong side, right? So the flap is here. I'm working inside the hat, basically. I'm going to knit nine stitches. I'm working the adult size, so either seven or nine stitches. You're basically just working to one stitch before we get to the edge of the flap. nine okay and then I'm working an SSK a slip slip knit okay it's a little bit tight right there come on a slip slip and knit them together all right so I did my SSK now turn bring the yarn to the back this really does look like such a mess because of the fur yarn, but I promise on yours, you will get the hang of it. Now we are doing the same thing. We're gonna just knit back, knit the nine stitches, the one stitch before the front flap. Okay, I'm working my SSK. You can tell when you're in the right place because there's gonna be a little gap and we're using the SSK to close that up. So I'm going to do my slip, slip, knit through the back loop. All right, so then we're gonna turn and do the same. Turn, do work it back, turn, work it back with your SSKs. I am going to, I eventually move to a long cable so I can do magic loop because the stitches can start to get a little bit tight. You also can move to a 16 inch or smaller. Um, so that's the only tricky part is maneuvering the needle and the small circumference because this is slowly going to just start connecting, 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 connecting. So when I get to the last final step, I will pop back on. All right, I have worked the top rectangle here by using those SSKs to connect back and forth, back and forth. And I did that until I had 20 stitches left. That's what the pattern says for my size. So I have already separated them onto two needles. I took the front flap stitches and I have them on the front needle. And then I took the remaining 10 stitches, those backmost stitches, and I put those on a separate needle because we're going to be working a three needle bind off. So the next step you need to do is flip your hat inside out. And first I put my yarn ball through and then kind of stick my needles in there. It's not very elegant, but we make it work. Flip it around because we wanna work our three needle bind off from the inside. All right, so you just take your third needle, you go through the first stitch on the front needle, the first stitch on the back needle all at once, and you knit them together. get adjusted so that nothing gets slippy. Okay, same thing. One stitch on the front needle, one stitch on the back needle, and knit them together. Once you have the two stitches, you will take the one stitch over the top of the other. Sorry for the lighting in this. Obviously it got dark on me very quickly because it's the middle of winter. Okay, same thing. Front needle, 
back needle, knit them together, and one stitch over. And that is that. You're going to do that for the rest of the stitches. The last stitch, when you only have one stitch left, you'll just cut a tail and pull it through. You also can look up, there are a lot of tutorials on three needle bind offs that aren't using fuzzy yarn, and that might be a little bit easier to see that technique if you're struggling with that. Okay, then you have a fun hat.